Growth Mindset The Proven Way to Multiply Your Success Written and Published by Truth of Life Chapter 1 The Foundations of a Growth Mindset Transformative Power of Mindset Imagine a life where every challenge is a stepping stone to greater achievement. This is the essence of a growth mindset. It's a powerful belief system that views obstacles as opportunities for growth and setbacks as catalysts for success. Embracing this mindset can unlock your full potential and multiply your success. At its core, the growth mindset is about seeing every situation as an opportunity to learn and improve. When you encounter a difficult task or face a failure, instead of viewing it as a negative experience, you see it as a chance to grow. This transformative power of mindset is grounded in the belief that our abilities and intelligence are not fixed traits but can be developed through effort and dedication. People with a growth mindset believe that they can improve their skills and intelligence over time, which drives them to put in the effort required to overcome challenges. This perspective contrasts sharply with a fixed mindset, where individuals see their abilities as static and unchangeable, leading them to avoid challenges and give up easily. By adopting a growth mindset, you open yourself up to continuous learning and improvement, leading to greater achievements and success. The growth mindset also fosters resilience. When you believe that you can grow and improve, you are more likely to persist in the face of adversity. This persistence is crucial for achieving long-term goals and overcoming obstacles. By viewing challenges as opportunities for growth, you develop the resilience needed to keep pushing forward, even when things get tough. This mindset shift can be life-changing, allowing you to approach life with confidence and a sense of purpose. The Science of Growth the growth mindset is supported by extensive research in psychology and neuroscience. Pioneered by psychologist Carol Dweck, the concept suggests that our abilities and intelligence can be developed through effort, dedication, and learning. This contrasts with a fixed mindset, which holds that abilities are static and unchangeable. Dweck's research has shown that people who believe their abilities can be developed are more likely to succeed than those who believe their abilities are fixed. One of the key findings from Dweck's research is that praise for effort, rather than innate ability, fosters a growth mindset. When children are praised for their hard work and perseverance, they are more likely to take on challenges and persist in the face of difficulties. This principle applies to adults as well. By focusing on effort and improvement, rather than inherent talent, you can cultivate a growth mindset and achieve greater success. Neuroscience also supports the growth mindset through the concept of neuroplasticity. Studies have shown that the brain is capable of forming new neural connections and reorganizing itself in response to learning and experience. This means that with consistent effort and practice, you can improve your cognitive abilities and develop new skills. Understanding that your brain can change and grow in response to challenges can be a powerful motivator, encouraging you to embrace a growth mindset and pursue continuous improvement. Understanding Neuroplasticity The brain's capacity to rewire and adapt, known as neuroplasticity, forms the bedrock of the growth mindset. This means your brain can grow and change in response to new challenges and learning experiences. By understanding this, you can begin to see effort and perseverance as essential tools for success. Neuroplasticity shows that our brains are not fixed but dynamic and capable of significant change throughout our lives. Neuroplasticity explains how learning new skills, practicing new behaviors, and even changing our thoughts can lead to physical changes in the brain. For example, when you practice a new skill, such as playing a musical instrument or learning a new language, your brain forms new connections and strengthens existing ones. This process improves your ability to perform the skill and demonstrates that you can enhance your abilities through effort and practice. This understanding of neuroplasticity reinforces the growth mindset by showing that our brains are capable of continuous growth and adaptation. It suggests that no matter where you start, 
you can always improve and develop new skills. Embracing this concept can inspire you to take on new challenges, persist in the face of setbacks, and view failures as opportunities for learning and growth. By recognizing that your brain can change and grow, you can cultivate a growth mindset and unlock your full potential. The foundations of a growth mindset lie in the transformative power of mindset, the science of growth, and the understanding of neuroplasticity. By embracing these principles, you can view challenges as opportunities for growth, believe in your ability to develop your skills, and recognize that your brain is capable of significant change. This mindset will not only multiply your success but also enhance your resilience and ability to learn throughout your life. As we continue this journey, the next chapter will explore how to cultivate a growth-oriented mindset, focusing on self-awareness, embracing challenges, and the role of effort. Chapter 2. Cultivating a Growth-Oriented Mindset Self-Awareness and Reflection Developing a growth mindset starts with self-awareness. Recognizing your current mindset and understanding how it influences your actions and decisions are crucial first steps. Self-awareness involves a deep and honest look at your thoughts, beliefs, and behaviors. It requires asking yourself questions like, how do I react to challenges? And, do I view effort as a path to mastery or as a sign of weakness? This reflective practice can illuminate areas where you might be holding onto a fixed mindset and reveal opportunities for growth. Exercises in self-awareness might include journaling about your experiences and reactions to different situations. By writing down your thoughts and feelings, you can begin to identify patterns and recurring themes in your mindset. For example, if you notice that you frequently avoid challenging tasks, this could be a sign of a fixed mindset. Acknowledging this tendency allows you to consciously shift your approach and embrace challenges as opportunities for growth. Another effective technique is to seek feedback from others. Friends, family, colleagues, and mentors can provide valuable insights into your behavior and mindset that you might not see yourself. Honest and constructive feedback helps you understand how others perceive you and can highlight areas for improvement. Use this feedback as a tool for reflection and growth, rather than taking it personally or defensively. Embracing challenges. Those with a growth mindset view challenges as opportunities to develop rather than threats to their competence. Embracing discomfort and uncertainty is a crucial aspect of this mindset. When faced with a difficult task or a new challenge, instead of shying away, approach it with curiosity and a willingness to learn. This attitude not only enhances your resilience but also builds the skills needed to succeed in various aspects of life. To embrace challenges, start by setting goals that push you beyond your comfort zone. These goals should be ambitious but achievable, providing a healthy level of challenge that encourages growth. Break these goals down into smaller, manageable steps to avoid feeling overwhelmed and to maintain a sense of progress and accomplishment. Celebrate each milestone, no matter how small, as it brings you closer to achieving your larger objectives. Another strategy is to reframe your perception of challenges. Instead of seeing them as obstacles, view them as learning experiences. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this situation? And, how can this challenge help me grow? This shift in perspective can transform your approach to difficulties and make you more open to taking risks and trying new things. By seeing challenges as opportunities, you develop a more resilient and adaptable mindset. The role of effort. Effort is seen as essential for growth and success, not a sign of inadequacy. In a growth mindset, effort is valued as the pathway to mastery and achievement. Recognizing the importance of effort helps you stay motivated and committed, even when progress seems slow or obstacles arise. It reinforces the belief that through hard work and perseverance, you can improve your abilities and achieve your goals. To cultivate a strong work ethic, start by setting realistic and meaningful goals. 
These goals should align with your values and passions, providing a sense of purpose and motivation. Break your goals into smaller tasks and create a plan to tackle them step by step. This approach makes large goals more manageable and helps you track your progress over time. Maintaining motivation requires celebrating your achievements along the way. Acknowledge your hard work and the progress you've made, no matter how small. This positive reinforcement boosts your morale and encourages you to keep pushing forward. Additionally, surround yourself with supportive people who encourage and inspire you. Positive social support can make a significant difference in maintaining motivation and perseverance. Cultivating a growth-oriented mindset involves self-awareness, embracing challenges, and recognizing the value of effort. By developing these practices, you can transform your approach to learning and growth, leading to greater success and fulfillment in all areas of your life. As we continue this journey, the next chapter will explore overcoming limiting beliefs, focusing on identifying these beliefs, transforming negative self-talk, and reframing challenges. Chapter 3. Overcoming Limiting Beliefs. Identifying Limiting Beliefs. Before you can fully embrace a growth mindset, it is essential to confront and overcome the limiting beliefs holding you back. These beliefs often manifest as self-doubt, fear, or negative self-talk and can significantly hinder your progress and potential. Limiting beliefs are deeply ingrained thought patterns that convince you of your inadequacies and prevent you from taking risks or pursuing new opportunities. To identify these beliefs, start by paying attention to your inner dialogue. Notice any recurring negative thoughts or feelings of doubt that arise when you face challenges or contemplate new goals. Common limiting beliefs might include thoughts like, I'm not good enough, I'll never succeed, or, I'm not smart enough to do this. Recognizing these thoughts is the first step toward changing them. Journaling can be a powerful tool for uncovering limiting beliefs. Write down your thoughts and feelings about different situations and challenges. This practice helps you become aware of negative patterns and understand the underlying fears and assumptions driving them. Once you have identified these beliefs, you can begin to challenge and reframe them. Transforming Negative Self-Talk Cognitive behavioral strategies can help you replace negative self-talk with empowering words. This shift in dialogue can significantly impact your mindset and your ability to embrace challenges. Cognitive behavioral techniques involve recognizing and challenging negative thoughts, then replacing them with more positive and realistic statements. Start by identifying a negative thought, such as, I can't do this. Challenge this thought by examining the evidence for and against it. Ask yourself, is this thought based on facts or assumptions? And, what evidence do I have that contradicts this thought? For example, you might realize that you have successfully tackled similar challenges in the past, which contradicts the belief that you can't do it. Next, reframe the negative thought into a positive affirmation. Instead of, I can't do this, tell yourself, I have the skills and resources to overcome this challenge. Regularly repeating these positive affirmations helps reprogram your subconscious mind and reinforces a growth mindset. Over time, this practice can transform your inner dialogue and boost your confidence and resilience. Another effective strategy is to practice mindfulness. Mindfulness involves staying present and observing your thoughts without judgment. When negative self-talk arises, acknowledge it without attaching to it or allowing it to dictate your actions. This awareness creates a mental space where you can choose to respond differently reinforcing positive and growth-oriented thinking. Reframing challenges. Reframing challenges as opportunities for learning and improvement is a fundamental aspect of the growth mindset. Research shows that those who adopt this approach are more likely to persist in the face of adversity. By changing your perspective, you can turn obstacles into stepping stones for growth and success. To reframe challenges, Start by acknowledging the difficulty of the situation. 
Accept that challenges are a natural part of life and growth. Instead of avoiding or resisting them, view them as opportunities to develop new skills and gain valuable experiences. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this? And, how can this challenge help me grow? Focus on the potential benefits of the challenge. For example, facing a difficult project at work might improve your problem-solving skills, enhance your resilience, and increase your confidence in handling future tasks. By concentrating on the positive aspects and the learning opportunities, you can shift your mindset from one of fear and resistance to one of curiosity and growth. Visualization can also help reframe challenges. Visualize yourself successfully overcoming the challenge and experiencing the benefits of your efforts. This mental imagery reinforces your belief in your ability to handle difficulties and motivates you to take action. By consistently practicing this technique, you can cultivate a growth mindset that views challenges as integral to your personal and professional development. Overcoming limiting beliefs involves identifying and challenging negative self-talk, transforming your inner dialogue, and reframing challenges as opportunities for growth. By adopting these strategies, you can break free from the constraints of a fixed mindset and embrace a growth-oriented perspective that fosters resilience, learning, and success. As we continue this journey, the next chapter will explore harnessing perseverance, focusing on the power of perseverance, building resilience, and utilizing the feedback loop. Chapter 4. Harnessing Perseverance. The Power of Perseverance. Perseverance is crucial for developing a growth mindset. It's the ability to persist in the face of adversity and to keep pushing towards your goals despite obstacles and setbacks. Research indicates that those who demonstrate high levels of perseverance are more likely to achieve their goals. This quality is often referred to as grit, a combination of passion and sustained effort toward long-term achievements. Angela Duckworth, a prominent researcher in this field, has shown that grit can be a more critical predictor of success than talent alone. The power of perseverance lies in its ability to transform challenges into stepping stones. When you persevere, you develop resilience and a deeper understanding of the processes involved in your endeavors. This continuous effort not only improves your skills but also builds your confidence in handling future challenges. Embracing perseverance means committing to your goals and viewing setbacks as temporary hurdles rather than insurmountable barriers. To harness the power of perseverance, set clear, achievable goals and develop a plan to reach them. Break your goals into smaller, manageable tasks and focus on completing them one step at a time. Celebrate your progress along the way, as recognizing small victories can boost your motivation and reinforce your commitment to your long-term objectives. By consistently applying effort and maintaining a positive attitude, you can cultivate the perseverance needed to achieve lasting success. Building Resilience Developing perseverance involves consistent effort, patience, and a commitment to learning from failures. It's about finding alternative solutions when faced with roadblocks and not being deterred by setbacks. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from adversity, and it plays a vital role in maintaining perseverance over the long term. One way to build resilience is by adopting a solution-focused mindset. Instead of dwelling on problems, focus on finding solutions and taking proactive steps to address challenges. This approach helps you stay positive and motivated, even when faced with difficult situations. Additionally, practicing self-care and stress management techniques, such as mindfulness, exercise, and adequate rest, can enhance your ability to cope with stress and recover from setbacks. Another critical aspect of building resilience is developing a strong support network. Surround yourself with people who encourage and support you in your endeavors. Positive relationships provide emotional support, offer valuable advice, and can help you stay motivated during tough times. By building resilience, you strengthen your capacity to persevere and maintain a growth mindset, 
even in the face of significant challenges. The Feedback Loop Perseverance is directly influenced by your ability to seek and use feedback effectively. Embrace feedback as a tool for improvement, not as a personal critique. This approach fosters resilience and continuous growth. Feedback provides valuable insights into your performance and highlights areas where you can improve, helping you stay on track toward your goals. To create an effective feedback loop, actively seek feedback from various sources, including mentors, peers, and supervisors. Be open to constructive criticism and view it as an opportunity to learn and grow. When receiving feedback, listen carefully, ask clarifying questions, and reflect on the information provided. Use this feedback to make necessary adjustments and refine your approach. Incorporating regular self-assessment into your routine can also enhance the feedback loop. Reflect on your progress, identify areas for improvement, and adjust your strategies accordingly. This practice helps you stay aligned with your goals and ensures that you are continually learning and evolving. By embracing feedback and making it an integral part of your growth process, you can develop the perseverance needed to achieve your long-term objectives. Harnessing perseverance involves recognizing its power, building resilience, and utilizing the feedback loop effectively. By cultivating these qualities, you can maintain a growth mindset and achieve lasting success. As we continue this journey, the next chapter will explore strategies for lifelong learning, focusing on developing a learning orientation, cultivating curiosity, and embracing new experiences. Chapter 5. Strategies for Lifelong Learning Learning Orientation Embracing a learning orientation is about continuously seeking new knowledge and skills, which is fundamental for sustaining a growth mindset. This approach involves viewing every situation as a learning opportunity and being proactive in your personal and professional development. A learning orientation not only enhances your adaptability and problem-solving abilities but also fosters a sense of curiosity and engagement with the world. To develop a learning orientation, start by setting specific learning goals. Identify areas where you want to improve or acquire new skills and create a plan to achieve these objectives. This might involve taking courses, attending workshops, reading books, or engaging with online resources. Make a habit of regularly reviewing your progress and adjusting your goals as needed. This continuous learning cycle helps you stay motivated and ensures that you are always moving forward. Another key aspect of a learning orientation is cultivating a growth mindset when faced with challenges and setbacks. Instead of viewing mistakes as failures, see them as valuable learning experiences. Reflect on what went wrong, what you can learn from the situation, and how you can apply these lessons in the future. This reflective practice not only enhances your learning but also builds resilience and perseverance. Cultivating curiosity. Curiosity drives you to explore new ideas and perspectives, enhancing your capacity for lifelong learning. It is the spark that ignites your desire to learn and discover, leading to continuous growth and development. Cultivating curiosity involves maintaining an open mind and a willingness to explore the unknown. One effective way to nurture curiosity is by asking questions. Adopt a questioning mindset in your daily life, seeking to understand the how and why behind things. When faced with a new topic or situation, ask yourself questions like, why is this important? How does this work? And, what can I learn from this? This inquisitive approach helps you delve deeper into subjects and gain a more comprehensive understanding. Another strategy is to expose yourself to diverse experiences and perspectives. Engage with people from different backgrounds, read broadly across various fields, and participate in activities outside your comfort zone. These experiences broaden your horizons and stimulate your curiosity, encouraging you to explore new avenues of learning. By actively seeking out new experiences, you can keep your curiosity alive and fuel your lifelong learning journey. 
Embracing new experiences. Stepping beyond your comfort zone and embracing novel experiences often provides the most valuable insights and contributes significantly to your growth. New experiences challenge you to adapt, learn, and grow, enhancing your resilience and broadening your perspective. To embrace new experiences, start by identifying areas where you feel most comfortable and look for opportunities to step outside these zones. This might involve trying a new hobby, traveling to unfamiliar places, or taking on a challenging project at work. Each new experience, whether successful or not, offers valuable lessons and opportunities for growth. Another effective approach is to set specific goals for trying new things. For example, commit to learning a new skill every month or participating in a different activity each week. This structured approach helps you stay committed to seeking new experiences and ensures that you are continuously expanding your horizons. Reflecting on your new experiences is also crucial. After each new endeavor, take the time to evaluate what you learned, how you felt, and what you can apply in the future. This reflective practice reinforces your learning and helps you integrate new knowledge and skills into your life. Strategies for lifelong learning involve developing a learning orientation, cultivating curiosity, and embracing new experiences. By adopting these approaches, you can foster a growth mindset and ensure continuous personal and professional development. As we continue this journey, the next chapter will explore reframing failure, focusing on viewing failure as a learning tool, changing your internal dialogue, and accepting failure as part of the process. Chapter 6. Reframing Failure. Failure as a Learning Tool. Those with a growth mindset view failure not as a setback but as an opportunity for growth. This reframing can drastically change how you handle adversity and multiply your success. By seeing failure as a learning tool, you can extract valuable lessons from every experience, which can inform and guide your future actions. Viewing failure positively requires a shift in perspective. Instead of focusing on what went wrong, concentrate on what you can learn from the experience. Ask yourself questions like, what did I learn from this? What can I do differently next time? And, how can this experience make me stronger? This reflective approach helps you turn failures into stepping stones for success. It encourages a proactive mindset that seeks solutions and continuous improvement. Embracing failure also involves understanding that setbacks are a natural part of the learning process. Every successful person has faced numerous failures on their journey. By accepting that failure is an inevitable part of growth, you can reduce the fear and anxiety associated with it. This acceptance allows you to take more risks, explore new opportunities, and push your boundaries, all of which are essential for achieving long-term success. Changing your dialogue. Shifting your internal dialogue from, I failed, to, I learned, can significantly impact your mindset. This simple linguistic change can help you see failures as opportunities for growth rather than as personal shortcomings. The way you talk to yourself influences your beliefs and attitudes, which in turn affect your actions and outcomes. To change your dialogue, start by becoming aware of your self-talk. Notice how you speak to yourself, especially during challenging situations. If you catch yourself using negative language, consciously reframe it into a positive or constructive statement. For example, replace, I can't do this, with, I'm learning how to do this, or, this is too hard, with, this is an opportunity to grow. This practice helps reprogram your subconscious mind to adopt a more positive and growth-oriented outlook. Affirmations can also be a powerful tool for changing your internal dialogue. Regularly repeating positive statements like, I am capable of learning and growing, or, every failure is a step towards success, can reinforce a growth mindset. Over time, these affirmations become ingrained in your thought patterns helping you approach challenges with confidence and resilience. Accepting failure as part of the process. 
Recognizing that failure is an integral part of the learning process is crucial for developing a growth mindset. By accepting failure as a natural and necessary step towards success, you can better handle setbacks and use them as opportunities to improve. This acceptance reduces the fear of failure, allowing you to take more risks and pursue your goals with greater determination. To accept failure as part of the process, start by normalizing it. Understand that everyone experiences failures, and they are not a reflection of your worth or abilities. When you encounter a setback, remind yourself that it is a common part of the journey to success. This perspective helps you stay motivated and focused on your long-term goals, even in the face of temporary difficulties. Another strategy is to develop a support system of people who understand and encourage a growth mindset. Surround yourself with individuals who view failure positively and can provide constructive feedback and support. This network can help you stay resilient and optimistic, reinforcing your belief in the value of learning from failures. Reflecting on past failures and how they have contributed to your growth can also strengthen your acceptance. Look back at previous setbacks and identify the lessons you learned and the progress you made as a result. This reflection helps you see the tangible benefits of embracing failure and reinforces your commitment to a growth mindset. Reframing failure involves viewing it as a learning tool, changing your internal dialogue, and accepting it as part of the process. By adopting these strategies, you can transform your approach to challenges, reduce fear and anxiety, and foster a mindset that embraces growth and continuous improvement. As we continue this journey, the next chapter will explore the transformative power of feedback, focusing on embracing feedback, understanding constructive criticism, and enhancing self-awareness through feedback. Chapter 7 the transformative power of feedback. Embracing feedback. Feedback is a powerful tool for growth, providing an external perspective on your strengths and areas for improvement. Embracing feedback means welcoming insights and constructive criticism as valuable resources for personal and professional development. It requires an open mind and a willingness to listen, reflect, and act upon the information provided. To fully embrace feedback, start by viewing it as an opportunity rather than a threat. Understand that feedback is not a personal attack but a means to help you grow and improve. When you receive feedback, whether positive or negative, approach it with curiosity and a desire to learn. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this? And, how can I use this information to improve? Creating a feedback-friendly environment is also essential. Encourage open and honest communication with colleagues, friends, and family members. Let them know that you value their opinions and appreciate their insights. When receiving feedback, listen attentively without interrupting or becoming defensive. Show gratitude for the feedback, regardless of its nature, and take the time to reflect on it before responding or making changes. Implementing feedback requires action. After reflecting on the feedback, identify specific steps you can take to address the areas for improvement. Set clear goals and develop a plan to implement the necessary changes. Regularly review your progress and seek additional feedback to ensure you are on the right track. By actively engaging with feedback and using it to guide your growth, you can enhance your skills, performance, and overall success. Constructive Criticism Understanding the value of constructive criticism and how it can lead to significant performance improvements is crucial for a growth mindset. Constructive criticism focuses on specific behaviors and actions, providing practical suggestions for improvement. It highlights effort and progress rather than just outcomes fostering a positive and productive approach to growth. To benefit from constructive criticism, start by recognizing its purpose. Constructive criticism is intended to help you improve, not to diminish your confidence or self-worth. When receiving criticism, focus on the specific points being made and consider how you can apply them to your work or behavior. 
Avoid taking criticism personally or reacting defensively, as this can hinder your ability to learn from it. Seeking out constructive criticism proactively can also be beneficial. Ask for feedback from mentors, colleagues, and peers who can provide valuable insights into your performance. When requesting feedback, be specific about the areas you want to improve. For example, ask, can you provide feedback on my presentation skills? Or, what do you think I can do to enhance my project management abilities? This targeted approach ensures that the feedback you receive is relevant and actionable. Using constructive criticism effectively involves creating an action plan based on the feedback. Identify the key points and develop strategies to address them. For instance, if you receive feedback that your communication skills need improvement, you might take a public speaking course or practice active listening techniques. Regularly review your progress and seek additional feedback to ensure you are making the desired improvements. Self-awareness through feedback. Feedback enhances self-awareness by providing insights into how others perceive your actions, behaviors, and performance. This external perspective can reveal blind spots and help you see yourself more clearly, providing a solid foundation for continuous improvement. By using feedback to enhance self-awareness, you can make more informed decisions and develop a deeper understanding of your strengths and areas for growth. To use feedback for self-awareness, start by reflecting on the feedback you receive. Consider how it aligns with your self-perception and whether it reveals any new insights about yourself. For example, if you receive feedback that you need to be more assertive in meetings, reflect on your behavior in those settings and identify any patterns that support this observation. Feedback can also help you identify and understand your strengths. Positive feedback highlights areas where you excel, providing a boost to your confidence and motivation. Use this information to build on your strengths and leverage them in your personal and professional life. Recognizing and celebrating your strengths can also enhance your self-esteem and overall well-being. To continually enhance self-awareness through feedback, make it a regular practice to seek feedback and reflect on it. Schedule periodic check-ins with mentors, supervisors, or peers to discuss your progress and gather new insights. Use self-assessment tools, such as personality assessments or 360-degree feedback surveys, to gain a comprehensive view of your strengths and areas for improvement. By making feedback a consistent part of your growth process, you can develop a deeper understanding of yourself and achieve greater success. The transformative power of feedback involves embracing feedback, understanding and using constructive criticism, and enhancing self-awareness through feedback. By adopting these practices, you can foster a growth mindset, continuously improve, and achieve your goals. As we continue this journey, the next chapter will explore fostering a culture of continuous improvement, focusing on small wins and incremental changes, celebrating progress, and concentrating on the process over the outcome. Chapter 8. Fostering a Culture of Continuous Improvement Small Wins and Incremental Changes Fostering a culture of continuous improvement starts with focusing on small wins and incremental changes. Research suggests that small wins have a disproportionate impact on personal and professional development. These small, manageable steps can accumulate over time, leading to significant progress and fostering a sense of accomplishment. The concept of small wins is rooted in the idea that breaking down larger goals into smaller, more achievable tasks can make them less daunting and more manageable. Each small win builds momentum and creates a positive feedback loop, where success breeds more success. For example, if your goal is to improve your public speaking skills, start by setting small, achievable objectives, such as practicing a short speech in front of a mirror or presenting to a small group of friends. Each successful step reinforces your confidence and motivation, making it easier to tackle larger challenges. Incremental changes are also crucial for sustaining long-term growth. 
Instead of attempting drastic transformations, focus on making gradual improvements. This approach minimizes resistance to change and allows for more sustainable progress. For instance, if you want to enhance your productivity, start by making small adjustments to your daily routine, such as setting aside specific times for focused work or reducing distractions. Over time, these incremental changes can lead to significant improvements in your overall productivity and efficiency. Celebrating progress. Celebrating progress, no matter how small, is an essential aspect of fostering a culture of continuous improvement. Recognizing and celebrating achievements reinforces positive behaviors and builds momentum, encouraging you to continue striving towards your goals. This practice not only boosts motivation but also enhances your sense of accomplishment and well-being. To effectively celebrate progress, set specific milestones and reward yourself for reaching them. These rewards can be simple, such as taking a break, enjoying a favorite activity, or sharing your success with others. The key is to acknowledge and appreciate your efforts and achievements reinforcing the positive behaviors that contributed to your progress. In addition to personal celebrations, share your successes with a supportive community. Whether it's colleagues, friends, or family members, involving others in your journey can provide additional motivation and encouragement. Celebrating progress together fosters a sense of community and collective growth, creating a supportive environment where everyone is motivated to improve and succeed. Process over outcome. Concentrating on the process rather than the outcome is crucial for fostering a culture of continuous improvement. The process is where true learning occurs, and by focusing on it, you can fine-tune your approach and improve over time. This mindset shift encourages you to value the journey and the effort involved, rather than solely fixating on the end result. Focusing on the process involves setting process-oriented goals. Instead of setting goals based solely on outcomes, such as, I will finish this project by the end of the month, set goals that emphasize the actions and behaviors needed to achieve the outcome, such as, I will dedicate two hours each day to working on this project. This approach helps you stay engaged and motivated, even when the final outcome is not immediately within reach. Another aspect of process-oriented thinking is embracing a growth mindset. View challenges and setbacks as opportunities to learn and improve, rather than as failures. This perspective encourages continuous learning and adaptation, helping you develop resilience and perseverance. By valuing the process, you create a mindset that is open to growth and improvement, regardless of the immediate outcomes. Fostering a culture of continuous improvement involves focusing on small wins and incremental changes, celebrating progress, and concentrating on the process over the outcome. By adopting these practices, you can create a supportive environment that encourages continuous growth and development. As we continue this journey, the next chapter will explore boosting motivation and resilience, focusing on understanding motivation, cultivating resilience, and practicing mindfulness and self-care. Chapter 9 Boosting Motivation and Resilience Understanding Motivation Motivation is not a static attribute. It fluctuates based on various factors, including personal interests, external rewards, and internal goals. Understanding the dynamics of motivation is crucial for maintaining a growth mindset and achieving continuous improvement. Motivation can be broadly categorized into intrinsic and extrinsic types. Intrinsic motivation arises from within, driven by personal satisfaction and interest in the task itself. Extrinsic motivation, on the other hand, is driven by external factors such as rewards, recognition, or avoiding negative consequences. To boost your motivation, it is essential to identify what drives you personally. Reflect on your goals and passions to understand what intrinsically motivates you. Engage in activities that you find genuinely interesting and fulfilling, as this intrinsic motivation will sustain your effort over the long term. For example, 
If you are passionate about learning new languages, set goals related to language acquisition and immerse yourself in the learning process. Extrinsic motivation can also be harnessed effectively. Setting realistic but challenging goals can provide a sense of direction and purpose. Break these goals down into smaller, manageable tasks, and reward yourself for completing each step. External rewards, such as praise from others or tangible incentives, can reinforce positive behaviors and maintain your motivation. Combining intrinsic and extrinsic motivators can create a powerful synergy. For instance, if you are working on a project that interests you, intrinsic motivation, setting a deadline and promising yourself a reward upon completion, extrinsic motivation, can enhance your drive to succeed. Understanding and leveraging these different types of motivation can help you stay committed to your goals and continuously strive for improvement. Cultivating Resilience Resilience is your ability to bounce back from setbacks and maintain your motivation in the face of challenges. Developing resilience involves adopting a positive outlook, embracing failures as learning opportunities, and maintaining a growth mindset. It is about finding ways to persevere despite difficulties and using adversity as a springboard for growth. One effective way to cultivate resilience is by practicing positive reframing. When you encounter a setback, consciously choose to view it as a learning opportunity rather than a failure. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this experience? And, how can I use this setback to improve? This shift in perspective can reduce the negative impact of failures and enhance your ability to recover and move forward. Building a strong support network is also crucial for resilience. Surround yourself with positive, supportive individuals who encourage and motivate you. Share your challenges and successes with them and seek their advice and feedback. This network can provide emotional support, practical assistance, and valuable perspectives that help you navigate difficulties more effectively. Another important aspect of resilience is self-compassion. Treat yourself with kindness and understanding when you face setbacks. Recognize that everyone experiences difficulties and that failure is a natural part of the growth process. By being gentle with yourself, you can reduce stress and maintain a positive mindset, which is essential for bouncing back from adversity. Mindfulness and self-care. Practicing mindfulness and self-care is essential for maintaining mental clarity, reducing stress, and sustaining motivation and resilience. Mindfulness involves being fully present in the moment, observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment. This practice can help you stay focused, manage stress, and enhance your overall well-being. To incorporate mindfulness into your daily routine, start with simple practices such as mindful breathing or meditation. Set aside a few minutes each day to sit quietly, focus on your breath, and observe your thoughts and sensations. This practice can help calm your mind, reduce anxiety, and improve your ability to concentrate on your tasks. Another effective mindfulness practice is mindful movement, such as yoga or walking meditation. These activities combine physical exercise with mental focus, promoting relaxation and stress reduction. Engaging in regular physical activity also boosts your energy levels and improves your overall health, which are essential for maintaining motivation and resilience. Self-care involves taking deliberate actions to nurture your physical, emotional, and mental well-being. This can include activities such as getting enough sleep, eating a balanced diet, staying hydrated, and taking breaks to relax and recharge. Prioritizing self-care helps you maintain a healthy balance between work and personal life, preventing burnout and sustaining your motivation over the long term. Boosting motivation and resilience involves understanding the dynamics of motivation, cultivating resilience through positive reframing and support networks, and practicing mindfulness and self-care. By adopting these strategies, you can maintain a growth mindset, stay motivated, and effectively navigate challenges. As we continue this journey, 
The next chapter will explore unleashing creativity and innovation, focusing on fostering creativity, challenging assumptions, and practicing divergent thinking. Chapter 10. Unleashing Creativity and Innovation. Fostering Creativity. Creativity and innovation are pivotal for personal and professional growth. Fostering creativity involves believing in your ability to expand your skills and talents through effort. It requires creating an environment that encourages experimentation, playfulness, and the free flow of ideas. A growth mindset supports the belief that creativity is not a fixed trait but a skill that can be developed with practice and dedication. One effective way to foster creativity is by setting aside dedicated time for creative pursuits. This might involve scheduling regular brainstorming sessions, engaging in creative hobbies, or simply taking time to daydream and explore new ideas. Creating a routine that prioritizes creativity helps you tap into your imaginative potential and develop innovative solutions to problems. Encouraging a playful mindset is also crucial for creativity. Playfulness involves approaching tasks with a sense of curiosity and experimentation, rather than rigidly adhering to predefined rules or expectations. This mindset allows you to explore new possibilities and take risks without the fear of failure. Techniques such as brainstorming, mind mapping, and free writing can help stimulate creative thinking and generate novel ideas. Collaboration is another powerful tool for fostering creativity. Working with others allows you to combine diverse perspectives and expertise, leading to more innovative solutions. Engage in collaborative projects, seek feedback from colleagues, and participate in creative communities to enhance your creativity. By fostering a collaborative environment, you can leverage the collective creativity of your team and achieve greater innovation. Challenging Assumptions Fresh ideas often come from questioning the status quo. Challenging assumptions involves critically examining existing beliefs, practices, and norms to uncover new perspectives and possibilities. This process requires a willingness to question deeply held beliefs and to embrace uncertainty and ambiguity. To challenge assumptions, start by identifying areas where you or your organization may be operating on autopilot. These could be routine practices, established procedures, or commonly accepted beliefs. Ask yourself and others probing questions such as, why do we do it this way? What if we approached this differently? And, are there alternative ways to achieve the same goal? This questioning helps uncover underlying assumptions and opens the door to innovative thinking. Encourage a culture of curiosity and open-mindedness. Create an environment where questioning and challenging the status quo are not only accepted but encouraged. This might involve fostering open discussions, encouraging diverse viewpoints, and celebrating unconventional ideas. By promoting a culture that values critical thinking and curiosity, you can inspire creativity and drive innovation. Practicing critical thinking skills is also essential for challenging assumptions. Develop your ability to analyze and evaluate information, consider multiple perspectives, and make reasoned judgments. Engage in activities that stimulate critical thinking, such as reading widely, engaging in debates, and solving complex problems. By honing your critical thinking skills, you can better challenge assumptions and uncover new insights. Practicing Divergent Thinking Divergent thinking is the process of generating many unique ideas and combining them to push the limits of what is possible. It contrasts with convergent thinking, which involves narrowing down options to find the best solution. Divergent thinking is crucial for creativity and innovation, as it encourages exploration and the generation of multiple solutions to a problem. To practice divergent thinking, start by creating a conducive environment for idea generation. This might involve setting up a dedicated space for brainstorming, using creative prompts, or engaging in activities that stimulate creativity. Techniques such as mind mapping, free association, and lateral thinking can help generate a wide range of ideas. 
Engage in exercises that encourage divergent thinking. For example, set a timer and challenge yourself to come up with as many ideas as possible within a set time frame. The goal is to generate quantity rather than quality, as this can lead to unexpected and innovative solutions. Encourage wild and unconventional ideas, as these often spark the most creative insights. Surround yourself with diverse experiences to spark creativity. Exposure to different cultures, disciplines, and perspectives can inspire new ways of thinking and generate unique ideas. Travel, attend workshops, read extensively, and engage with people from various backgrounds to broaden your horizons and stimulate divergent thinking. In conclusion, unleashing creativity and innovation involves fostering creativity through dedicated time and a playful mindset, challenging assumptions by questioning the status quo, and practicing divergent thinking to generate unique ideas. By adopting these practices, you can enhance your creative potential and drive continuous innovation. As we continue this journey, the next chapter will explore the role of self-reflection focusing on the importance of self-reflection, analyzing thought patterns, and becoming more responsive and strategic in your actions. Chapter 11. The Role of Self-Reflection Importance of Self-Reflection Self-reflection is a critical practice for personal and professional growth. It involves taking the time to introspectively examine your thoughts, behaviors, and experiences. This practice helps improve self-awareness, identify strengths and weaknesses, and align your actions with your values and goals. By regularly engaging in self-reflection, you can gain deeper insights into your motivations, enhance your decision-making abilities, and foster continuous improvement. To cultivate the habit of self-reflection, set aside dedicated time each day or week to reflect on your experiences. This could involve journaling, meditation, or simply sitting in a quiet space and contemplating your actions and thoughts. Journaling is particularly effective as it allows you to document your reflections and track your progress over time. Write about your achievements, challenges, and any emotions or thoughts that arise. This process helps you understand your patterns and make more informed decisions in the future. Another key aspect of self-reflection is seeking feedback from others. Engage in regular conversations with trusted friends, mentors, or colleagues who can provide valuable perspectives on your behavior and performance. Use their feedback to enhance your self-awareness and identify areas for improvement. Reflect on the feedback received and consider how you can incorporate it into your personal and professional development. Analyzing Thought Patterns Analyzing your thought patterns is an essential component of self-reflection. Your thoughts significantly influence your emotions, behaviors, and ultimately, your outcomes. By examining your thought patterns, you can identify any negative or limiting beliefs that may be hindering your growth and replace them with more positive and empowering ones. Start by becoming aware of your internal dialogue. Pay attention to the recurring thoughts and beliefs that arise throughout your day. Notice if these thoughts are predominantly positive and supportive or negative and self-critical. For example, if you frequently think, I'm not good enough, recognize this as a limiting belief that can impact your confidence and performance. Once you have identified negative thought patterns, challenge their validity. Ask yourself questions such as, is this thought based on facts or assumptions? And, what evidence do I have that contradicts this belief? This critical examination helps you see the irrationality of negative thoughts and opens the door to adopting more positive and realistic perspectives. Replace negative thoughts with positive affirmations and constructive self-talk. For example, instead of thinking, I can't handle this, tell yourself, I am capable of learning and growing through this challenge. Regularly practicing positive self-talk can rewire your thought patterns and foster a more optimistic and growth-oriented mindset. Responsive versus reactive. Self-reflection helps you become more responsive and strategic rather than reactive and impulsive. 
Being responsive involves taking thoughtful and deliberate actions based on careful consideration, while being reactive means acting on impulse without fully thinking through the consequences. Developing the ability to respond thoughtfully can significantly enhance your effectiveness and decision making. To cultivate responsiveness, practice mindfulness. Mindfulness involves being fully present in the moment and observing your thoughts and emotions without judgment. When you encounter a challenging situation, take a moment to pause and breathe deeply before responding. This pause allows you to assess the situation objectively and choose a more deliberate and effective response. Another strategy is to develop a habit of asking yourself reflective questions before taking action. Questions such as, what are my options? What are the potential consequences of each option? And, what aligns best with my values and goals? Can help you make more informed and strategic decisions. This reflective approach reduces impulsivity and enhances your ability to act with intention and purpose. Engaging in regular self-reflection also helps you learn from past experiences. Reflect on situations where you reacted impulsively and consider what you could have done differently. Use these insights to guide your future actions and develop a more responsive approach to challenges and opportunities. The role of self-reflection involves recognizing its importance, analyzing thought patterns, and becoming more responsive and strategic in your actions. By adopting these practices, you can enhance your self-awareness, make better decisions, and foster continuous personal and professional growth. As we conclude this journey through the principles of a growth mindset, remember that true growth is a continuous process of learning, adapting, and improving. Embrace the journey with curiosity, resilience, and a commitment to lifelong learning and development. Embracing the journey of growth. As we conclude our exploration of the growth mindset, it is essential to integrate the profound insights and practices discussed throughout this book into a cohesive understanding. Embracing a growth mindset is not merely about achieving short-term success but about committing to a lifelong journey of learning, adaptation, and improvement. The growth mindset is rooted in the belief that our abilities and intelligence can be developed through effort, dedication, and learning. This book has explored various strategies to cultivate this mindset, including understanding the transformative power of mindset, leveraging the science of growth, embracing neuroplasticity, and fostering self-awareness. By consistently applying these principles, you can transform challenges into opportunities for growth and turn setbacks into catalysts for success. To fully integrate the growth mindset into your life, make it a daily practice. Start each day with positive affirmations and visualizations that reinforce your commitment to growth and improvement. Engage in regular self-reflection and seek feedback from others to enhance your self-awareness and identify areas for growth. Embrace challenges with curiosity and resilience, and view every situation as an opportunity to learn and grow. Balance and harmony are crucial for sustaining a growth mindset. While it is important to strive for continuous improvement, it is equally essential to maintain a healthy balance between work and personal life. Prioritize self-care, engage in activities that bring you joy, and build strong, supportive relationships. These practices help you maintain your motivation, resilience, and overall well-being. Generosity and gratitude play pivotal roles in sustaining a growth mindset. Practice gratitude regularly by acknowledging and appreciating your achievements, both big and small. Express gratitude for the support and encouragement of others, and give back by helping others in their journey of growth. This positive energy creates a supportive environment that fosters continuous growth and development. The journey of growth is continuous and evolving. Trusting in the process involves believing in your ability to learn and improve even when progress seems slow or setbacks occur. Embrace the concept of lifelong learning, understanding that growth is not a destination but an ongoing process of discovery and development. 
Developing patience and perseverance is essential for maintaining a growth mindset. Understand that achieving your goals may take time and effort, and that setbacks are a natural part of the journey. Stay committed to your vision and keep pushing forward, even in the face of difficulties. Remember that each step you take brings you closer to your goals, and that every challenge is an opportunity to grow stronger and wiser. As you continue on this journey, remember to celebrate your progress and achievements. Reflect on how far you have come and the lessons you have learned along the way. Use these reflections to inspire and motivate you as you pursue new goals and challenges. Ultimately, the growth mindset is about more than just achieving success, it is about living a life of purpose and fulfillment. Reflect on your values and passions, and align your goals with your higher purpose. Use your talents and abilities to make a positive impact on the world and contribute to the well-being of others. Living with purpose involves setting meaningful goals and taking actions that align with your core values. It means pursuing personal and professional growth not just for your benefit, but to create a positive ripple effect in your community and beyond. By living with purpose, you can achieve a sense of fulfillment and satisfaction that transcends material success. Embracing a growth mindset is a transformative journey that involves continuous learning, self-reflection, and perseverance. By integrating the principles discussed in this book into your daily life, you can unlock your full potential and achieve lasting success and fulfillment. Remember that the journey of growth is ongoing and that each step you take brings you closer to becoming the best version of yourself. Embrace the process with curiosity, resilience, and a commitment to lifelong learning, and you will discover that the possibilities for growth and success are truly limitless.